Pick it up late in the first quarter, scoreless at Randolph High School. And it's Connor Mackey with the shovel pass to Matt Oplinger as he takes it 21 yards to the Randolph 32 yard line. And the scoreless tie will be broken here as it's Joseph Johnson taking the hit and crossing the goal line for six and make it seven nothing green wave late in the first quarter. Second quarter now and it's Randolph on their next possession looking to answer the Del Barton score. And on fourth and short, it's James Bertel with the 10 yard run picking up the first down on the Del Barton seven yard line. But things were changed on a dime here. After a poor handoff exchange, it's Matt Oplinger of Del Barton picking up the loose ball and returning it all the way to the Rams. 43 yard line routes first and 10 Del Barton. We go to the third quarter now, it's still a seven nothing Del Barton score and action gets off to a fast start here as Andy Papandonis cuts his way upfield before being brought down at the Randolph 40 after a 60 yard kick return to set up the green wave. That 60 yard return would then lead to this beautiful 19 yard fade route to David Murphy from Giuseppe Pavacqua for six and Del Barton would take a 14 nothing lead early in the third. Del Barton's offense would get it back here as they call the screen pass to Matt Oplinger and he makes a couple of nice moves making a few defenders miss and takes it 31 yards all the way down to the Rams six yard line. What a run. And it's Connor Mackey again calling his own number here as he takes it from one yard out to make it a 21-0 lead Del Barton with four minutes left in the third. All right, Randolph gets it back here down by three scores and it's junior quarterback Connor LaGoya finding James Bertelli over the middle for 19 yards, moving into the Green Wave 18 yard line. The two plays later, Randolph gets on the board here as it's Connor LaGoya finding Brennan Corkin underneath as he breaks the goal line for six and it's now a 21-7 Del Barton lead at the end of the third quarter. But Del Barton would get that score back here on their next possession as Connor Mackey again takes the direct snap and takes it in from three yards out for his second touchdown of the game, making it 28-7 Del Barton early in the fourth. The Green Wave again would punch it in here, and this time it's Ian Lodge getting in on the scoring action, this time from three yards out to make it 35-7 Del Barton midway through the fourth. And Connor Lagoya of Randolph will get credited with his second touchdown of the night here as he finds Sean Murphy over the middle for the score, making it 35-14 Del Barton. But Del Barton would prove just to be too much on this night as Rob Arancino would get himself a score as he takes it the final few feet to make it 42-14 Del Barton. And that would be the final score as Del Barton would improve to 2-1 on the season. And let's go down to the field for post-game reaction. Yeah, well, you know, we knew coming in it was going to be a slugfest. You know, Randolph's a real physical team. We saw him on film, we saw him in person. And we knew when you play Randolph, you're going to get all you can handle. And, and they did. Their kids played their tails off. I thought our kids met it, their, their intensity. And, uh, you know, we, 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 you know, in the first half, we hit on some things early. Then, you know, some penalties got us in some bad spots. And, um, you know, we just didn't, we didn't execute as well as we could have, but a lot had to do with them. And then second half, I think our offensive line took over. Uh, our big backs, Robbie Arancio ran just unbelievably hard all day. Joe Johnson, uh, you know, Giuseppe Vivacco, our quarterbacks, made some throws. Connor Mackey, our uh, Wildcat quarterback, came in and did a great job. And, you know, obviously Matt Opplinger, our do-it-all tight end, uh, played real well too. So, you know, we're, we're pleased with the effort. We were a little bit sloppy, way too many penalties. Um, Got to clean some things up, obviously. But uh, you know what? Overall, we're pleased with the victory. Uh, I mean, our offense line played a great game. Killed ourselves with penalties early. We were moving the ball well in the first half, and our defense played a phenomenal game. Stopped them a couple times uh, inside the 20 in the red zone. So good job by our defense. And in the second half, we kind of got it rolling. Got, we completed our drive, so that was very helpful. Yeah, you know, we came into this game one and one. Uh, you know, I don't think that really you know, spoke to the to team we are this year, but we knew uh, it was a big, uh, big, win, big, uh, big game to like set the tone in our conference. And, uh, you know, coming out with the, with the big win, we knew it was going to be a real physical game. And uh, I think we brought it today in the second half and really got it done, kind of show what we're all about.